What's up guys, my name is Ozzy Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube, and in today's video we're going to be looking at Adidas's Ice Dive, a fragrance for men. Now, Adidas and Nike fragrances in particular are sort of a stepping stone from your body sprays, from your Lynx, your Axe, you know, they're known by different names around the world, and Rexonas and things like that. These are meant to be a slight step up from that. An introduction to toilettes and the like. Um, I've reviewed a couple of them in the past. I know I mentioned uh, Nike Graphite and Adidas Team Force, and considering that you pay like under $10 for those, they're not half bad. So I'll just show you the box. You know, it's pretty simple. It's got the Adidas branding. Got your ingredients on the back there. And yeah. Everything checks out, you know, this has been marketed by Cody, just your typical standard fragrance. Throw that over there, the bottle itself, clear, pretty cheap looking, batch information for you. Now the liquid is got a pale blue tinge as you can probably tell. You know, these bottles are actually kind of nice to hold because of the, the sort of ribbing on the side here. Ribbed for our pleasure, I suppose. Wink, wink. And there's the atomizer. It's a super standard atomizer, like nothing special. But it does the job. Now I'm already wearing this on my hand from before, so I'm just gonna spray it again. Immediately, this is a citrusy, minty fragrance at the top. You're going to get grapefruit, you're going to get mint, and various other sort of fruity accords. Look, I'm not going to lie, it's not bad. I'm not like a fresh or fruity fragrance guy, but this isn't bad at all. In the middle, or the heart if you will, you've got sandalwood, and in the base, you've got amber and ambergris. Now, all of those notes that I've mentioned are going to be the main components that you're going to smell here. Or at least that's what I detect. So you've got mint, you've got grapefruit, you've got sandalwood in the mid, and then you've got a sort of an amberish base. So for a fresh sort of fragrance, it actually lasts on your skin quite a bit. And there's also a slight greenness to it as well. Overall, it's not the worst thing in the world. You can do a hell of a lot worse than this. I mean, I even showed this to my partner and she quite liked it. Probably because she's a fan of sandalwood and you can detect that quite, quite prominently in the mid. Now, for $8 Australian, that's what you're paying for this. I imagine it'll be a similar price around the world. So you're talking about $5 to $15. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a blind buy, but these, these sort of notes in here are kind of hard to dislike. Yes, it smells on the cheaper side. It doesn't smell luxurious. It doesn't smell decadent. It smells kind of like a, a car freshener. You know those black ice little trees that you can get? For your car it smells pretty similar to one of them I get look it doesn't smell like Davidoff's cool water but I do get a slight cool water vibe from this which sort of makes sense given that it's called ice dive and that sort of sounds similar but yeah for what you pay for you've you've got a like a pretty decent basic fragrance and that's coming from somebody that doesn't generally like freshies or things like that Longevity, not too bad because of the amber in the base. We're talking four to five plus hours on your skin, depending on who you are and your skin chemistry. Projection isn't half bad, given that it's basically synthetic. But all in all, you know, I don't dislike it. I don't hate it. And at literally $8, I'm gonna have to give this one a recommendation. So if you're watching this and you're after like, you know, a fragrance that isn't just some cheap, knockoff clone that's five bucks from some discount two dollar shop or whatever for something that's like a, from a genuine reputable brand you can do a hell of a lot worse than this so 
So that about covers it all for today. Have you ever worn this before? Let me know in the comments below. And until the next fragrance review or vlog, I'll catch you guys around.